What is the IAT sensor and how does it work? The IAT sensor is an important component in modern vehicles that helps monitor and control the temperature of the air entering the engine. The IAT sensor measures the temperature of the air entering the engine's intake system and sends this information to the engine computer. The IAT sensor is usually located near the air filter in the engine intake system. It works by measuring the electrical resistance of a thermistor, a component that changes its electrical resistance depending on temperature. As the temperature of the air entering the engine changes, so does the resistance of the thermistor, so the engine computer can interpret these changes and adjust the fuel-air mixture to keep the engine running efficiently. The main function of the IAT sensor is to help the engine computer determine the optimal amount of fuel to be injected into the engine based on the temperature of the incoming air. When the air is colder, the fuel-air mixture must be richer to ensure proper combustion. On the other hand, when the air is warmer, the mixture should be thinner. Additionally, the IAT sensor can help the engine computer adjust ignition timing and other engine management-related functions. In addition to these basic functions, the IAT sensor can also contribute to engine performance, as intake air temperature can affect engine performance and response. Colder air is denser and contains more oxygen, which can increase engine power. Therefore, the IAT sensor can also influence engine performance and response. In supercharged engines, the IAT sensor is also essential in ensuring that the intercooler operates efficiently, as it monitors the temperature of the air after passing through the turbocharger or supercharged compressor. In summary, the IAT sensor plays an essential role in efficient engine operation by measuring intake air temperature and providing this information to the engine computer. This helps ensure optimal combustion, enhanced engine performance and reduced polluting emissions.